A supervolcano is like a regular volcano on steroids. If it erupts, it could kill 100,000 people in an instant and expel over a thousand times more material than a regular volcano. It would send so much ash and dust into the atmosphere that it could make an entire continent uninhabitable. Oh, and then there are the toxic gases and landslides that come along with the eruption, but we'll get to those later. Here's how to survive. A supervolcano. There are about 20 supervolcanoes on Earth, with one of the most famous being found in Yellowstone National Park in the United States. It's had three massive eruptions in the last two million years, and scientists suggest that the fourth could be right around the corner. So you better be ready if it or another geological monster like it decides to blow. Step 1. Recognize the signs. Once lava bursts out of the volcano, it'll destroy everything in its path. At the same time, tephra, the pieces of magma that get blasted into the air, can crush houses, cars, and block roads. You would need to put as much distance between you and the volcano before the destruction begins. Usually, volcanoes give off warning signs hours before an eruption. These can include temperature changes and earthquakes. Step 2. Turn off the air conditioning. While burning hot lava scorching everything around it sounds like the worst thing that can happen, you shouldn't underestimate the ash. Falling ash can turn into a thick pile three meters deep, even one kilometer away from the eruption. If you're within that range, you need to protect your respiratory system. Wear a face mask, preferably that N95 you still have lying around from the COVID pandemic. When you're finally safe from the lava flow, turn off your car. The ash can clog engines and stall vehicles. It might also be hot with windows rolled up, but don't use your AC or fans. That will only bring more ash into your car. Step 3. Prepare for the worst. Whether you live in an area at risk for a volcanic eruption or you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, you need to plan for the imminent danger ahead of you. Check social media for evacuation and shelter plans. You'll also need to see if there are protective measures in place against the ash. Fill a bag with non-perishable food and water for several days in case you're ordered to evacuate immediately. Take into consideration that emergency clinics might be overloaded after the eruption, so grab bandages, disinfectant wipes, and hand sanitizer to take care of basic cuts and bruises. Even that jar of honey in your cupboard can help heal wounds. Step 4. Stay indoors. Just in case the toxic gas and falling ash are keeping you from leaving the disaster zone, the eruption could also form lahars you need to watch out for. These are highly destructive landslides that can devastate large areas. If you found shelter, stay inside. Make sure you close all windows and doors. The most important thing to do is listen to local officials and experts. Never try to do anything that they warn you against. Step 5. Be ready for chaos. Just like any apocalyptic scenario, the aftermath of an eruption of a supervolcano like Yellowstone's would make finding food and water extremely difficult. Global temperatures could drop for years, destroying crops, killing animals, and wreaking havoc on water supplies. Even if you're stocked up on supplies, these will eventually run out. What would you do next? How could you stay alive without food or water? Here's a clue. You'll need to memorize the life-saving rules of three theory. We'll tell you more about it here on How to Survive.